Hi, I'm Paris, and I've noticed that most places I go, everyone is carrying a drink with them all the time, as though 20 minutes without having something to drink will result in severe dehydration. A lot of times the drinks are sodas and big gulps. I saw this over at our local Fry's and thought, well, now that's a good idea of something to take with you. If you can have a bottle with a mixer built into it, so if you don't want to have just plain water, you can add some water to it. If you have strawberries, blueberries, whatever, you can mix up a drink that you'd like that isn't something quite so sugar-filled. Also, a lot of times with smoothies, they settle, and invariably the worst stuff floats to the top. So if you just press a button and swirl it all back into even consistency, that would be really great. So I bought the Tornado bottle, runs on two AAA batteries, those really tiny ones. Is this really gonna be able to make the kind of drinks I'd like? Well, it looks cool. It has a blendery, mixy kind of device inside of it. And you can actually take that off so you can drink with just the cup. They show that it makes all kinds of drinks, coffees and protein shakes. It says you can even scramble eggs in it. And if you notice in this picture, down at the bottom here, she appears to have broccoli and peppers. <laughs> Wouldn't be my first choice for a smoothie, but since they show them in the picture, I'm assuming I can actually throw them into the tornado bottle and it will grind them up and mix them into a smoothie. Find out more about the Tornado Bottle at the link down below this video. Now I showed you the up close version of that picture for a reason because I already snuck the directions out and read on exactly what this can and can't do. Well they don't say it clearly, it's all pretty vague, but they do tell you that you should fill it up about two thirds, always put the liquid in first, then the powder. Well powder, what about other stuff? Well they talk about protein shakes seems to be what this is really aimed at. Then I'm down here, you can't put it in the dishwasher, you can't put it in the microwave, and tornado bottle will not crush ice. Okay, so I'll have to have my smoothie at room temperature. And do not use tornado bottle with solid foods, slash fruits, oats, peanut butter, etc. In the TV commercial, they show a plastic, clear plastic lid that goes on top of this to make sure it won't spill. <laughs> I don't know about the bottom coming off so easily. That it won't spill when you put it in your purse or your bag to take to the gym so you can drink those protein shakes as you're using the other arm on the machine. But I don't have that. It didn't come in the box. Maybe this model, you don't need that. Well, it comes apart easily enough. The lid has this so you can drink through this or put a straw into it. I don't, it feels like it seats really well, so I'm thinking it's not going to leak. It's on there pretty good. And then this is the motor that's going to drive the spinny piece inside of here. I was looking on the base unit for how to open up the battery. A very simple way, there's a little groove that you pull on and this rubber piece comes off. Hopefully that'll stay for the long term. I have two brand new alkaline energizer batteries. So this should provide about the most power you can to this little motor. When I took the tornado bottle out of the box, this little plastic, clear plastic piece came with it. I can't find where it came off of the bottle. Maybe it came off of a different bottle, but I've got this extra piece, and I'm not sure if you can see right here inside the bottle is a black piece of plastic or metal that I assume came from that mechanism. I wonder if that counts as fiber. Washing it out, I put my hand in to clean this part, and I thought it was going to be metal, but no, it's very flimsy plastic. I'll reattach the bottom portion here. And I filled it about two thirds of the way. This is what they recommend for when you're going to mix something. Let me put the top on, just make sure it can actually stir the water. Tornado time. <laughs> All right, it did get going there. At first though, it just sounds so, so funny. It is a tornado. All right, prove me wrong. Here come my ingredients. Banana, soft, and strawberry. I'm thinking I should have cut these smaller. I'm gonna be able to fit a whole lot in here. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm glad one sank, because I could just imagine these all sitting on the top of the tornado going round and round, and nothing happening. All right, make me a smoothie. Here we go. <laughs> round and round they go. When it becomes a smoothie, nobody knows. I guess
guess if they go around in a circle fast enough, they may eventually disintegrate. Okay, we got some speed going. Pretty to look at. I think that's all that's going to happen. Well, there's some banana stuff floating in there. Um, I guess I'll try it. All right, take the bottom off. Make sure it doesn't leak there. Seems okay. Give it a try. It smells like banana water. Tastes like it too, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was thinking the tornado bottle was going to replace what an actual mixer blender can do, but instead it seems more like maybe it can replace what a fork and a spoon can do. Spoon for stirring it and the fork for scrambled eggs or pancake mix like they mentioned that you need to um, apply a little agitation to. So it does agitate, but I don't know that if I just threw the same things in here, like protein powder shake with the water and just shake it a little if it does a whole lot different. I've never had protein shakes and they do seem to emphasize this is good for protein shakes and maybe they tend to um, have the water and the powder settle out so you can just press the button briefly and mix it all back up. So it may work for them, but not for the purposes I was interested in. So that's the tornado bottle. If you're interested in it, there's a link down below this video. Until then, I guess I'll just eat my bananas when I'm out the old fashioned way. You can keep checking back for future videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic review.